Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's gonna be, today's gonna be a good day. Uh, ran last night, I uh, got off the road about two o'clock in the morning and speak of the devil, I got a new text message from Dylan. Um, he, we are heading down, we got a four and a half hour drive going to check out a, a used side by side. So uh, let's go snag Dylan up, go from there. To snake Dylan up. When to come snake Dylan up, and this is what we got. The wife's like, oh yeah, a branch fell in the yard, and I didn't realize there it is on my trailer. So, what's today, Dylan? Side by side day. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, everything's gonna pan out, right, buddy? Oh, God, yeah. Because so. yeah. has this process been easy so far? <laughs> You've seen them debacles with the banks, and oh, they don't have money, and all kinds of stuff, but we set everything up, made everything happen, so. We are going to throw some petrol in this old slob of big red and uh, we are gonna we're gonna make it happen. Man looking rough. So we are currently now in Milwaukee. We hauled our ass all the way down. Where'd we go? The first I think Sherwood. And how Sherwood. how'd the first deal go, Dylan? Now to give context, the bummer part about that's the first side by side we went and looked at. It had front bumper, it had rear bumper, it had a winch, it had tree kickers, it had a roof, a flip out windshield, you name it, it had it on there. But there was just too many red flags, not to mention it was hard to communicate with the seller's brother-in-law. English wasn't exactly the strong suit, so all in all it was just kind of bummer. So didn't get it on camera, but it is what it is. Let's go back to the story. Explain Usually this. when you advertise something, advertise the right year and the right mileage. And have something to sell like the title anything, <laughs> yeah. anything. Yeah. so we did we got down there they had it advertised as a 2017 it was a 2016 now i know with the 2016 that's kind of a crap shoot they had issues with the machines overheating that issues with uh the diffs blowing out on them so we decided to pass on that not to mention she did not have a bill of sale or not a bill of sale sorry she did not have the title there so this is what we snagged up right there She's dirty, she's been sitting in a storage unit, but it only has to, uh, just over 2,000 miles. It is a 2018. We went through the entire machine. Now when we get back, get her all cleaned up, we'll show you guys what we went through as far as looked at, you know, buying a used machine. There's always a gamble there. Yeah, so we made her back. Thank goodness. It was a long day. Went to the car wash at 11 o'clock at night. Washed her all up, cleaned her up. But he did a thing. Somebody decided to put my snowboard in there. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, guy. <laughs> He's not used to how big these things are. There you go. Solid. Well, Dylan, welcome to the side by side family, buddy. I got a side by side. <laughs> <laughs> Your name's Jameson? Yeah. Are you excited to drive it or ride in it? Drive it. You want to drive it? I think you got to talk to your dad about that one. So, I'm gonna ride it. are you gonna ride in it? Yeah, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, it is the next morning. We're back at the buddy's house. I'm tired. How you doing, Dylan? I'm very tired. Yeah. How tired? Very tired. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Oh, we did. We ended up going to that one place. They had misadvertised. Didn't have a clean title or the title in hand. It said it was a 2017. It was a 2016. Said it only had 700 miles on it, had 1,100 miles on it. So we did hunt down this other machine, and it was it was late. So we went and took a look at it. We wanted to go check it out. Now he paid 16.8 for this machine, 2018, with just over 2,000 miles, like 2,060 some miles. Um, we did find one thing today when we were looking at the machine. We were standing behind it, and we noticed that. What did we find, Dylan? A twisted cage. Yeah, yeah. So the machine had either been put on its side or something had happened. Um, you can't really see it here, um, but you can see she's a, she's a little muffed up or whatever the case may be. Luckily, I did the cage drop on OG and I had the cage stuffed up in the rafters at my house. So we went and snagged it up. Everything fit like it was supposed to. So mounting points here, mounting points there, and everything else checked out. So so luckily, um, nothing would seem to be bent or tweaked or anything like that, so that was good. Mechanically, the motor and everything sounds really good. 
Clutches look pretty decent. We're cleaning those up now. We're doing some preventative maintenance. But what did we check when we picked the machine up? We checked every one of our mounting points on the frame, make sure nothing was walled out. We don't have any bad ball joints. Now he's gonna put some tires and rims on this thing, so those kitty wampus things are going down the road. Um, we did check brakes. Um, there was no creeping on the clutch when it was off the ground. Luckily, it let us jack it up off the ground, so we were able to check every single bushing mounting point, check the wheel bearings, oils, fluids, and biggest thing we noticed, lack of maintenance you know and that is a always a concern when you do buy a used machine everybody knows that you know especially on a side by side we know how they get rode we know how they get drove so we are changing fluids we are going through the entire machine making sure she is ready to rip so what are you doing are you working on the side by side jameson yeah <laughs> start them out young they say right you got a good one over here, buddy. <laughs> the next day. <laughs> what do you mean, one, two, three? So this is what we're doing today. Like, I get sick of cleaning these things, so you got to show That is like an automatic car wash. Yeah. So I've got my landscape bag. We're going to run her through there, because quite honestly, I don't want to hand wash it. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, that's it. Here goes nothing. A pre-cut cleaning product is now in the flight in the vehicle. Yeah. It doesn't go clean! But I don't have to wash it! Oh yeah, even my helmet gets clean! Alright. Let's get out where the protective gear is. Clean. Yeah. All right. On to the next adventure. <laughs>